We now return to Let's Play Airship Asunder. So, I was on my way back to the cities to load up crew, ammo, supplies, etc. And, uh, as it was pathing, it pathed me right into that wormhole. So, we're somewhere else now. Uh, low food, low fuel, uh, especially the, <sighs> the new ship, I don't believe has a lot going for it. So, uh, we're gonna have to quickly see where I am. Oh. My god. Okay, well we need to, uh, hurry the hell up and get back to civilization. Of some type. If I'm lucky, I'll find someone to trade with along the way. I do have extra things that I can get rid of. Uh, plenty of ammo, for example. I can trade that off. But, uh, anyway, the portal to the right of my empire apparently takes us down to the southeast corner of the globe where there is nothing. The land is disintegrating. There are a few things, and I'm very tempted to check these out because they might fulfill this quest, but uh, first things first, we need to to worry about that. We're at Y87, so we've got about 30 tiles that way to go. My fuel, of course, being 74, will be going diagonal the whole way. And hope that these guys do not get stuck. Be calmed, I guess? Or is that only applicable to the sea? At least we're over land right now. We might have to come down and check out these ruins. I'm not really sure how we can accomplish this. I mean, I've I've got two keys, and they're not universal keys, so they're not un or they're not able to unlock uh, a lot of the vaults around where I'm at. Why did you guys go up that way? Come this way. Keep going diagonal. Yeah, the expedition, this is actually a pretty decent direction for an expedition. We would just have to load up on a lot of things. And quite a bit of things. Oh boy. Well, I'm going to make it, but it's going to be very tough. These guys, I don't know. I don't remember what they've got. There's a, oh, wait, there was a settlement up here. I better actually check to see where we're at at the moment. Oh, okay. So, yes, actually, I, I'm glad I saw that, because I was actually heading off far, far too ways away. Um, what is this? I guess as soon as we get closer, it'll give me that name. Yeah, Gondis. Okay. So we're we're around our home territory. That's good, then. We can come south and explore all this, rather than go east, as my original plan was. Um, I don't recall which ones we got stuck on, and which ones... Come on, keep coming. Now hopefully that just means they're low on food and that they're not actually starving, because if they are in fact starving, then we're losing crew. Which might be a little expensive too. Speaking of losing crew... Oh right, I had to put my engineers and whatnot on this ship, so that we could actually fly the thing out of there. Yeah, okay, that's a thing. Well, uh, first things first, let's come in here and get some fuel. And hopefully these guys will come up here with me. So let's go ahead and grab like 300 fuel. Well, 250, how about? Because we've got to save some for, for those guys. I'll also grab some food from here. 300 food? Yeah, fine. Uh, grab that mana. And that should be fine. And then I'll get in here and... and uh, do an exchange with my ships to see what they are resupplying themselves with. They should, theoretically, be resupplying themselves. Uh, this is my escort. It now has food and fuel. Good. Uh, it's got a bit of ammo. I'm going to give you a bit more ammo because I'm going to grab my own. Uh, how about 150? Uh, you've got one doctor, sailors. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to take these from you. Oh, no, I, I gave them to you so I could get my own, didn't I? Uh-oh, what's that? Low on ammo. I know I'm low on ammo. Okay, that town's under siege. 
exchange with the little guy. Uh, you've got a full crew. Okay, so I just have to worry about my own crew. Uh, although you could use a little bit more food. I'll pick up food the next place I stop. You definitely got enough of that. Uh, mana, because you do have magicians, but we've decided that magicians are not combat magicians, therefore we shall not use it. And I'll just bring them along. Um, I'll, I'll definitely drop them off, though. We don't need that many... Ma although the magicians do... Well, when I come back and, and look at the exchange, I'm going to read that again, but it said that multiple magicians really only lower the cost of the mana, and... Yeah. And since we're not using it to terraform, we really only need, like, one. Um, I'll grab a couple more of you. We will need a doctor. So that puts me at 15 crew. Yeah. Okay. I'll fill up on the food again. And the ammo. Gotta go to an ammo place to get some more ammo. Uh, who was the ammo builder? You were the ammo builder. Okay. Man, we're going all the way up to get this stuff. I guess I should maybe just stop while I'm here to pick up gold. I mean, I'd, uh, I can only see us going down to Gondis and uh, needing to trade. Because right now I'm going in the complete opposite direction from anywhere that I would otherwise need to have a lot of gold on me. And of course, if I die, that's a big issue too. Then we just lose all that gold for nothing. But I would like to explore before we up this a level, which would probably unlock more of the airships. My intention again was to get the uh, the two thousand was the the cruiser cost two thousand gold. Okay, ammo. I'll just take all of the ammo. Good. Uh, you've got plenty of iron food. Gold. Oh wait, you need. Do you need gold? No. Where are you getting the gold from? It must be the uh, marauding hordes that come in there and then they just consume it. Okay, let's go back down south and explore all of those ruins. This will be quite an expedition. Hopefully, everyone's got enough food. We might need more food. We've got 200 squares worth of... Hey! 200 squares worth of... Uh, I'll just consume that, fine. 200 squares worth of fuel, so that should probably get us there and back again. A hobbit's tail. Okay, let's go check out that. I think I probably did, but uh, just to be sure. Oh, we can pick that up on the way since that is not consumed, unless you're going to consume it. Must be kind of unnerving having a town right on the edge, especially since you've got it surrounded pretty much. Gondis is just gonna fall right through the world. Okay, search. One. Oh, gold! Good. Clearly abandoned, and without a drop of fuel, the machinery below will not give us power. It may have other valuables. Okay. Well, that was uh, that was good, I guess. I mean, better than nothing. Better than a bunch of denizens. I'm sure Gondis is very appreciative for that, too. Within the machine shop, I found curious plans for an enormous machine, which requires four specific gears to function. Hmm. So... What do I do with that knowledge? Did the balloon disappear again? It did. Damn it. Come on. There we go. Okay. Search. Maybe I should look at my... Relics? For those plans that he was talking about? 
The ruined graveyard is decorated with headstones. Let's find nothing so far. Let's actually look at the journal first. Uh, tasks. We're still searching. Yeah. Spires and dungeons. So maybe this is not actually... I, I should be looking at things like that and that tower back there. These guys are going to resupply, I'm assuming. Tombstones are clearly marked. Okay, I find gold. Okay, well, I hope you guys are just floating around and you're not actually expending anything you've got on board for supplies. Search. And I hope this isn't using up my keys, either. Find nothing so far. The ruins lie directly beneath the vessel, beckoning with their mysteries. We anchored nearby to seek our fortune within. Denizens! Attack! Immediately, please, before we lose all of the... <laughs> good. Okay, you can have that. It's probably just mana. Um... Boy. Did I lose anyone there? Didn't look like it. Each of these should have at least ten crew, though. Find nothing. The remains of decaying villages sometimes hold valuables, as their residents may have left in a hurry, as they saw the land around them <laughs> falling into the abyss. Gold! Okay, well, we're collecting a lot of treasure. A letter from the city council to all citizens is found scattered about town, indicating an evacuation had occurred. I know we're kind of going east, and I'm missing all those things to the south. More denizens! Oh god! Okay, get out of there! Get out of there! We cannot fight these! Actually, go this way! Go this way! Go, go over the abyss. They can't follow us over the abyss. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. It's going to go attack a village. <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully Gondis and not one of my own. Oh, okay. I was wondering where the magic was going. Let's go over this way. Oh, okay. So it summons skeletons from from that. Ah. Well, we're actually close enough to uh, to help out and attack that, but uh, never you mind. I'm gonna find out have have to find out how to actually attack the incorporeal monsters. I'm sure those skeletons are tough, but we could probably start taking a whack at them, but that ghost... Oh, the ruins lead to a small door set in a remaining tower. We do not have the relics, but it says also that we have not found anything so far. Find nothing so far. Well, probably just don't have the the right relics, which is maddening because I have no idea what the right relics are. You know what? Fine, fine, fine. Just the game is going to insist that these guys come after it. Attack already for crying out loud! You know, I wonder. Uh, we are attacking. Uh oh, we're losing some people. We are... I'm going to go over here and, and actually see how many people we lost. Um, yeah, so we, we're attacking land-based units, which means that they'd be like melee characters, right? So I'm wondering if maybe... Uh, maybe turning over to Grape Shot wouldn't be more effective against land units. Low on food. I'm not low on food. It's one of my other ships is low on food. 
which means that it must be the other big one. Did I not? I, I could have sworn I looked at both of them, but apparently not. <sighs> okay, okay, well, we got to come over here and make sure that Dingus has enough food, because apparently not. Maybe they just got too much crew. That'd be you, yeah. Uh, no, you are very low on the food. I will even out some of your burden by taking some people from you, but, uh, yeah. A little low, a little low on the food. So we'll go check these out and then head back, I guess. I'm gonna have to really just fill up our holds with a ton of food. Still got six minutes here. That's a little ship. Must be one of those 200 gold chips. I wonder if that would be... Oh, good grief. Let's switch over to, uh, to Grape Shot and just see. It's going to engage me in melee, and what I should really be doing is actually moving out of melee. So I lost three there, it looks like. Okay, now, now, now we want to get back in there. I'll just take all that. Uh, but what I was going to say was, I wonder if just having a swarm of little ships would at all be effective as having just a few large ships. I'm not really sure how the mass fire mechanic would work. Uh, search. Got to make this quick. Maybe I'll go to that filled in quarry down there too, that flooded quarry. Let's see. A tall spire was visible for miles. It was built by common civilians in vain attempt to recreate the old stoic defenses. Oh, need proper relics. Where are the proper relics? I don't think I have to stay at uh, this quest. Yeah, there's nothing there. I mean, I, I could start working on some of those other tasks. It's not linear, as we've already proven uh, when I accidentally filled... Oh, it was the forge, right? When I fulfilled the forge task early... Gold. Okay, the remains of an old quarry with, are filled with water. Surely more than rock lies below. Apparently not. Many villages did not survive the wars of old. It is certain many more will fall before peace returns once again. Well, we'd better vamoose and get ourselves some food again. Probably fuel. Uh, maybe... We kind of did go up north before, right? Maybe I'll go northeast? Then again, maybe I should just focus on the other tasks. Because I have n absolutely no idea uh, what it's gonna what it's gonna take to unlock this, unless we just go exploring every single thing on the map until we find the right unlockable. And I, excuse me, I know for a fact that there are many more relics than uh, what we've found so far. And I can only imagine we'll find them through digging through the uh, the ruins. Okay, exchange. I'll actually leave some of the food since they seem to be oh good grief since they seem to be filling up on their own when they come to town take that ammo uh, leaving magicians behind I need a few of those I could take another one of you let's not be too greedy though I don't want I don't think I want more than 15 to be honest I mean, I'm, I'm trying to make my food stretch, and apparently a slime is running amok. Hopefully the ships are taking care of themselves. Oh, should probably switch to... Well, I don't know. Let's find out what that does. We apparently don't have any snipers in Lanka because it's not defending itself. So let me go grab some more snipers, because we did have quite a few sitting in this 
city and I'll just drop them off over there. Um, another thing too, I guess, is that I could start pumping civilians. That's the next quest, right? Uh, let's see. We'll just split that up to five and five and head over to Lanka. With so much conflict, gold never seems to settle. The value of gold has increased. Or was it up here that I haven't put anything yet? I suppose, since this is kind of a blocked off area with the water and the abyss, I could just put some walls there. Just barrier that. That whole section would be relatively safe. There we go. Now you're protected. Uh, we'll take all that gold. Well, maybe not all the gold, because I think you might need some. Or not, no, because you don't have any... You don't have any engines here. Okay. Um, well, let's go ahead and then look at the, the next task. Task. Town. These meager villages will not suffice. We must grow them into larger towns of 100 people or more. They're to truly thrive. Okay, well, uh, right now this one's producing more food. Let's grab a few civilians. 30. Go dump them off here. I should just work on getting a bigger fleet. I do have 600 gold right now. Haven't gone over to this one. That was after I picked this one twice, too. And we'll dump you all here. Oh, maybe this isn't such a good idea because this town is actually consuming civilians to, uh, to fill in these. So we're actually draining them. So what I should... Uh, but they're also... These two are also the towns that have the food. <laughs> The food that can sustain these people. Blast. Probably not a good idea then. Maybe I should just fill in the one. I don't know. We'll go to Gas Town. To see what I can pull away. Oh, it's because that one's got a tower. That's why this one has three fields and the other one. Okay. Exchange. And we'll pull 30 people away from you, I guess. I'm not really sure what the disadvantage is in, in low population. If there is one. I know they'll fill it up again, though, once they've got the, the food to do it. But yeah, that was a little too close. I was on my way to Dorado, and he pathed right into the portal. Didn't help. Okay, exchange. Dump off... 30 more civilians. Let's already use some. It's got a population of 108 now, so that should up it, right? Are you protected? Doesn't seem like it's fighting back, so no. Oh, okay, we just accomplished something. And that's what the town looks like. Maybe I need to go attack it before it's just we can we can hit it from here, right? Oh yeah. Oh, well, thanks to the gunners, I'm shooting out massive amounts of ammo. Okay, so we accomplished that. What I'm here for now is to take snipers to Steamton, <laughs> cause they're uh, a little weak. Should we take some soldiers too, maybe? Just so they can. Uh, just in case someone invades by land. Which is a pretty precarious thing to do in Steamton because it's got two lakes and two mountains and a forest. So it's actually, it should actually be very difficult to invade by land. I mean, I'm sure that's not part of the game mechanics themselves, but in a real world scenario, let's just say. You can have your snipers, and your soldiers, and anything I want to take with me. Ammo? I don't need that much ammo, though, do I? Ammo actually does consume weight. Unlike mana. 
Okay, well, let's go over to uh, Dorado, see how much gold I have hoarded since then, and I could do more by... Got some neutral faction fighting there. Uh, by just grabbing all of my... Oh, good grief. Do you not have... Do you... Nope, you're unprotected too. <laughs> okay, let's go save the settlements first, and then we'll... We'll work on this. I've got a tower here, though. We should probably switch over to that. You low on food? Can we not get it from here? What the hell? There we go. Good grief. Let's go pick that up, then hit Dorado. And yeah, I might just grab all of my mana and go pump more money into uh, Cross Paths economy. I'll take it all. Because I do at least want the cruiser before I bump up. Uh, we do have enough. I'm sorry. Uh, we do have enough uh, people that I can crew a large ship. Maybe, well, and we definitely have enough food, too, and probably enough fuel. Maybe I should just really fill it up. Of course, the danger of doing that is that it would have way, way more than my smaller ships would have in capacity, so I would be outstripping my capacity. They need some new snipers, too. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, so th we would need new ships with the same capability, or else I would just sort of outrun the smaller ships for the sake of my flagship and everyone would lag behind. I don't think I'm going to sell this right now. Uh, if we do have some fuel. I've spent quite a bit of it, but I think we got enough to go and explore some more. Uh, I'll take all that... No, 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 I, I can't take all the gold. I keep forgetting that. I will, however, take all that mana. That's probably a good uh, a good bunch of mana there for sale. Should net us quite a bit. And uh, so maybe... Uh, yeah, okay. I guess next time I'll go up here and see about getting that cruiser. Hopefully I can. And then we'll go northeast on an expedition. Of course... Getting that new... Nah, we'll get the new cruiser on the way back, maybe. I'm just thinking, because if I get a new ship, I'm going to have to go back around so I can fill up the crew. Unless I want to just leave an abandoned ship lying around. That might not be such a great idea. Okay, well, I'll end this one here, and I'll see you next time.